Mr. Yuri from the Allegra School of Music and Arts, and I'm going to show you how to set up advanced audio settings for your laptop or your desktop computer. If you have an iPad or a tablet, you don't need to do this because the audio is automatic. So when you enter the meeting, what you'll normally see is a video picture. I have that turned off, but this is the same screen that you will use to go into your classroom. So once you've joined the classroom, you're going to want to go over to the left-hand corner of the screen, and you're going to see this microphone, and right next to it is a little up arrow that opens your audio settings. So you click on that, and you'll see at the very bottom, there's a special item that says audio settings. You're going to want to click on that. This will open up the screen where you change your microphone and your speakers and all of that but what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the lower left lower right corner where it says advanced now if you don't see this button you're going to want to go back to the internet and search out zoom application and re-download the zoom app because older versions don't have this advanced features and all you have to do is update it so once you see this advanced button, you're going to want to click on it and you're going to only have to do three things. First, you're going to want to check off this show in meeting to enable original sound and I'll show you what that does in a minute. Second, you want to disable persistent background noise and you want to disable suppress intermittent back background noise. This causes the sound to be more natural. Echo cancellation should be left at auto. So once you've changed those two things, those three things, you're going to see on your upper left-hand corner of the screen a little button here, which has appeared, and it says turn off or on original sound. So right now original sound is on, and that's what you want. So it's a little confusing because here it says turn off. I'll show you. If I click on it, now it says turn on, but you want to keep that on. So you want to click again so you see turn off original sound. Again, what that does is it takes away some of the filters and sound limiters that they build into these platforms, which is much better for our purposes of music and drama. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the classroom.